there is nothing quite like cooking on a fire whilst beach fishing. On this particular trip, myself and my dad Graham chose to fish an urban beach on the south coast of England. With the rigs already pre-tied, it was just a question of putting the bait on the hook and casting out into the abyss. The bait of choice today was ragworm. We were fishing a deep channel where large container ships come to import and export goods around Europe and the world. Whilst Dad was casting out the rods and checking the baits, it was my duty to get a fire going on the firebox wood burning stove. This flat, compact wood gas stove is incredibly efficient and is ideal for cooking on your travels. You just can't beat a bit of bacon and the food was ready within a matter of minutes. To get the most out of the fire, I also cooked up some soup in the billy can, an ideal food combination for winter beach fishing. Well guys, the bacon was spot on. It was almost double smoked, it was smoky bacon and it got smoked up in the old firebox here. And now I've got a rolling boil ready for some soup. Today's soup of the day is tomato and vegetable. And because I'm uh, using a, basically a hard plastic cup, I shouldn't really pour the boiling water straight into that because obviously it's plastic. Plastic doesn't do great with boiling water. It can take hot water, just not boiling. Now I could alternatively just use my billy can and pull the soup in there, but then it's all sooty around the edge and I'll get basically soot and stuff like that on my lips. So I'm gonna just take it off with a stick, carefully place it down, let that cool down for a bit, and then just warm myself by the fire. After a few slow hours, Dad hooked into a fish. Well guys, that was a turn up of the books, that was, look at this, a crab and a little schooly bass. Look, only small, I know it's only small, but that's been out, what, like 30 seconds? Yeah, and that's a shotgun rod, We got a it? couple of rods out, I thought, I'm going to put this little spinning rod out, shotgun, because they said there's a plateau that drops down there. Look at that, isn't he cute? Lovely little fish, going to put him straight back. Wow, at least we haven't blanked. I just looked up while we were working out how to get this fire set in this wind and there you go, look, I know it's a little tiny fish tell you what guys, on a cold day is better than a blank Well that's right folks, what you're seeing, you should be believing, because I'm actually going to use some bacon rind. I read somewhere on a forum that they've been catching bass on bacon rind. I don't know whether it was a wind up, but I'm just going to give it a go. There's a big rainstorm coming, and basically I hate to waste a good piece of bacon. I'm guessing the bacon fat's the best bit, but you can see what I'm doing to save ruining my knife blade. I've got a piece of kindling wood there and just using that to cut the, uh, the fat up with. I've got very, very small hooks. Who knows, it's worth an experiment. As the saying goes, well, here goes nothing. 
tiny small hooks, Paternoster. I'm just going to throw it so close. It's so snaggy here, it's unbelievable. I think we've lost six sets of gear. There's a big bank, they say, that comes in. So there you go. What's the difference between that and one of those ragworm? I don't think they eat stones, man. Right? You too, if you go beach fishing, totally awesome outdoor style, can end up with absolutely filthy hands like this. <laughs> because you've got juice from lugworm, ragworm, squid, fried bacon, bits of fat. But I'll tell you what, nobody's going to be laughing when I wander fishing on this, are they? That's worth at least one cast out. Let's get in the water. Folks, it's been a fun session. We've only had small fish. This is a whiting here, and we've also had bass and a pouting, so we've had good variety. Unfortunately, the fish have been too small. They're undersized, so we didn't kill them. Instead, we brought a bit, a bit of bacon along as backup, uh, just to cook on the old firebox stove. But just goes to show you the variety of fish you can have this time of year. We're coming into, we're very late autumn, early winter now here in the UK, and whiting. These fish here generally mean a sign that darkness is coming, which it is. We've just had a storm pass over us, and we're going to go back out to a different beach mark later on to fish into the night. Well there we go, sun setting, another small whiting. Again we're not going to keep it, it's undersized, but we'll release it and now we really need to get going to our other beach mark. 